Yo, what's up, dudes? How's it going? Well, I'm back with one of these. This is the AnyGig SE. I don't know what SE stands for, but I'm going to guess second edition. It seems like the follow-up to their first uh, model. Um, let me just throw this on mute oh, really quick. There we go. So here's the first one. Um, the first one right here. Not this, this is the second one. Here's the first one right here. And, um, you know, as you can see, it, uh, it changed really just this main, this down in here. Right? This is the real big change. It's added a uh, strip of wood. See, this one has a strip of wood. Right? And this one doesn't. It's a big open space. And they move the tuners from being two, two, and two. To being three and three, three on a side, three down and three up, which is a little more traditional than the, the two at the end. Uh, and they move the strap button from right here to all the way to the end. So I think they're, you know, they're not huge changes, but I think it's a, a step in the right direction for the build, right? It, it looks like uh, everything they've come up with is a little bit of an improvement over the, the prior model. Uh, again, not a huge change. They still have the Tunematic uh, style bridge. They're still sporting a humbucker. It's still a, you know, uh, fully adjustable truss rod. Um, you know, obviously this one has a, a maple fretboard and this one has a rosewood fretboard. Uh, but I think they're still coming in rosewood. You can get rosewood version um, in, in addition to uh, a whole bunch of maple ones. Um, uh, the color seems to be slightly different if we're looking at it. Right. This one seems to be a little bit uh, lighter in color, and this one's just a tiny bit darker in color. Um, to be honest, I think I like this a little better in person. It looks a little bit, you know, uh, nicer. And the, uh, you know, here goes my condenser. <laughs> and, uh, you know, still no volume knob. That's my number one complaint. It still comes with a bag. Now you get a carry bag, travel bag with it which makes sense, and it came with a, um, you know, a cable to, to plug it into an amp. Um, all right, let me turn the, the mute off here. And That's bringing me back. All right, let's find a. I like this patch, but it's it's a little a little quiet. I'm gonna bring that volume up a, a hair. I mean, the guitar sounds pretty, pretty damn good. I think a lot of the comments uh, on the first time, the first video I made of, the, of this guitar, um, were that it sounded like a, a full-size guitar. You know, you, you, you have enough mass and you get a nice humbucker on there. And you still get a, you know, a pretty decent, um, pretty decent tone. All right, let's go from something to like that to something completely over the top because we can. <laughs> it still seems to pull all those harmonics out. You know. Of course, the upper reach is like the best on any guitar. <laughs> there's no horn, there's no size, there's really nothing. On... 
get in your way. All right, let's go back to something a little, a little less over the top. Again, I, I just think these guitars sound great. They're not very expensive. I think they're under 300 bucks, maybe even under 250. Uh, don't quote me on that because I think the price really depends on where you're where you're at, you know, where you're looking at it, whether in the U.S. or in Europe or wherever. So um, your price may vary, but you know they're pretty inexpensive. They're like 250 somewhere around there. Uh, and I do think that this replaces this guitar uh, because I, when I went to the website, it seemed like the first editions are sort of being you know cleared out, and uh, and it's all these now. It's all the second edition. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. It's called the SE. I'm making up second edition, but I'm going to roll with it. Why not? You know. All right, dudes, I will leave a link for more information down in the description. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. Rock on.